Hey guys, Fallout plays here, and in today's video, I'm gonna play 50 games of Gambit. That was pretty good, eh? I almost sounded like him right there. No, but seriously, I'm playing 50 games of Gambit today. But the reason why I did it is because I want a god roll from Gambit. One specific god roll that I have never gotten, and that I've been thinking of for a long time. The bottom dollar. This is a 120 RPM that can get rangefinder, slide shot, explosive payload, basically anything you could want. And since Gambit was double infamy this week, I decided to go ahead and do it. All in all, I'd say it took me a around eight to 10 hours, probably eight hours. I don't think it actually took 10 hours. That would have been way too long. But all I know, I was playing Gambit for around six to seven hours straight last night. Here's my reaction to finishing the last game. I just wanted to record my last few moments. This is me entering my last Gambit game. We have played 49. It's currently 12, 10 a.m. And of course, if you guys don't believe me, I have 47 wins and we lost two games, 47 plus two. 49. I know I'm a genius, so we just need one last one. I can't wait. Oh my god, freedom. Freedom just for one more, one more, one more phase. Go, kill him, kill him, kill him. Let's go! If I don't get the god roll this video, I will do another 50 games of Gambit whenever Double Infamy comes around again. Drop a like on the video, because this took a long time. Let's see what I get. All right, we're at the Drifter. I'm going to go ahead and get started, because I'm never going to get those seven hours back, so let's get into it. Actually, before we get started, I did get some weapons to drop that weren't from the engrams. And if you're curious if any of them are good, I did get some bottom dollars. Very, very bad. This was actually almost a god roll. I'm going to go ahead and hide my cam so you guys can see the roll besides Wellspring. I actually am kind of mad about this. I also managed to get around like 15 of these laser painters. I did dismantle a couple because I wasn't thinking about how I'm going to show you guys the weapons at the end. And... I I think I should have enough legendary shards. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm kind of scared to look. All right. First one. Slide shot, multi kill clip. Let's see if anything else is good on it. We got full bore, extended barrel. This is not going to work for me. This is going to go. This is going to be a dismantle for sure on the slide shot, multi kill clip. Outlaw, unrelenting. I don't think anything could save this one. This is also a dismantle. Subsistence and unrelenting. Okay. Oh, see, I did get double perks here. We got a quick draw, multi kill clip, accurized, hammer forged. You know what? Eh, nothing really helping it out here. Also, multi kill clip. What's the point? I might as well just use a hand cannon that has normal kill clip on it. But I am going to have to check these. Ooh, another slide shot wellspring roll. Terrible, terrible barrels and stuff. We're going to get rid of that. I think this is the right one, right? Okay, yeah, I already put the other one in my vaults. Uh, surplus is okay. Wellspring, again, useless. High impact reserves, while it could be okay, is just not really worth it. Again, it's just kind of a useless perk on the right side again. It does have some okay handling. I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one too. I could maybe keep it, but I think we'll probably get an, a, a better one as we go on. Oh, this gun also has rapid hit. Another terrible roll, rapid hit, multi-kill clip, outlaw. I, I just don't want multi-kill clip. There's just no point. I might as well use the round, round robin at that point. Shit. All right, food break. Hold on. What is this shit roll? Next roll. We got quick draw, opening shot, no good magazine side, or no good magazine barrel. Some okay barrels, really bad magazine options, and uh, good... I, I don't even... Why am I even looking at this? I mean, it has no good per... Nothing I want. I did see one with explosive payload. I'm praying that maybe there's another option besides hip fire grip. And no, there's not. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle that too. Not not off to a great start. Um, killing wind, rampage, accurized, small bore, handling masterwork. Now this, this is a good roll. Quite literally, rampage quite literally does nothing for a 120 at this point either. And I really don't like killing wind all that much. Quick draw again is not bad. Another useless roll. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle that. Some people probably would have kept it, but... I don't want it. Okay, we got two more from the vault. Oh, all right, we got two more from the postmaster, and one of them has slide shot. Please, explosive payload. I'm praying. It has some pretty good uh, handling, looks like. It might have fluted barrel. Oh, man, this is terrible, actually. This is not even close to being good. Okay, another dismantle. Hip fire grip, unrelenting. And yeah, 30 engrams, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure we'll get something good. You know, 29 is a lot. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get down yet. So uh, let's keep going here. All right, here we go. Let's uh, check him out. I'm not gonna get too. Ooh. Ah. Uh, okay. I mean, this was okay. Rapid hit, but I'm not looking for rapid hit. I'm looking for slide shot. I do like rapid hit though, because at the very least, it gives me the stability part. I think slide shot's the main thing. Explosive payload would be nice on the side, but if everything else were perfect, I think I'd be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and that's a terrible roll so far. Not. Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. This is a roll, Rangefinder, Explosive Payload. Rangefinder, of course, is going to be getting nerfed next season, so this isn't something that I could use long-term. But if this is good, 
I could use it for a long time. Or I don't know why I said long time. I meant to say like for a short time and the roll is cheeks anyways. It doesn't even matter. 31 handling, small bore, terrible. I was looking for something like fluted barrel. Uh, I'm going to keep it because I don't have one with rangefinder explosive, but I'm definitely not going to use it. I'll, I'll keep it anyways, though, just in case. Another terrible roll. Not even going to explain why. Pulse monitor. I mean, completely useless. Surplus could be good if I got something else. Nope. Another garbage roll. Not looking too hot right now. Rapid hit, disruption break, outlaw. Eye of the storm, garbage again. Maybe this will be good, surplus. And we got wellspring again. Dude, this is hard because there's so many perks on this damn gun. I just, I don't know, I'm getting kind of stressed out now. We got 20 left. Surplus, disruption break again. All right, dismantle. Got two more, killing win. Nope, trash roll. I haven't seen slide shot in a while, so I'm getting kind of... I'm getting kind of sad right now. No slide shot. Not even double perks for this one. Single perks. So that's another batch. Completely garbage. Oh, another dot. Another dot. Another nine down the hatch. Man, it's crazy how quick I can spend all these, but it took so long to get them. Okay, we have slide shot here. Just looking for explosive payload, if possible. Then good barrels and stuff. Oh my god. Fuck, dude. Okay, this roll is okay the range could be better i did get a pendant mag though which isn't terrible because normally it has only eight bullets if i go with flared magwa i do get a little bit of stability though we did get a handling mass work so it goes up to 42 handling i'm pretty sure 41 but i did get slide shot explosive so that's a good start uh we're gonna keep that for now see if we can beat it i don't think we are but we'll see another rapid explosive payload this one has quick draw dragonfly okay ah Dude, this was actually not too bad. Explosive payload, rangefinder, accurized, which was... Cr this is crazy range. But then we got these terrible barrels and a reload masterwork just to top it off. And we're going to keep going. Pulse monitor, trash. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle that. Rapid hit demolitionist. We got rangefinder opening. But again, another reload mash. What's up with all these reload masterworks? We're going to dismantle that. I'm just not, not looking forward to using that one. Garbage roll. Four, fourth time's the charm. Eye of the storm. Fourth time's the charm. Eye of the storm again even worse beating frenzy okay we got slide shot and again just more trash I'm actually getting kind of worried right now guys the best one i've gotten so far is the one in my vault that i showed you guys at the beginning of the video i just pulled one from my postmaster because we bought an extra one and let's see if it's any good nope all right it's trash I have 11 more engrams before i am completely broke and uh we can see the total afterwards let me buy six more all right here we go. Let's take a look. We got six brand new ones. Fourth time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, what am I even doing? I'm just going to dismantle that trash. Killing wind, thresh. More trash. Okay. Surplus and thresh. Man, how many thresh? I've gotten thresh the most, I'm pretty sure. Like 99% sure. More garbage. Damn. I'm just speed running all my hard work right now. This is crazy. This roll sucks too. I mean, hip fire grip's kind of useless. Pulse monitor is kind of useless. So again, I ask, what is the point of using it? The barrel and stuff wasn't too bad. Another garbage roll. Okay, we have five more engrams. Dude, no way. Okay, last five. Here we go. Hip fire grip, trash, another garbage roll. It did have fluted barrel. I feel like that was the first time I've seen fluted barrel. Another garbage roll. Guys, I got three more. Eating frenzy. High impact reserves, trash. Okay, this has slide shot. Now, rampage isn't good, but slide shot, yeah, that's the main thing. Like I said, rampage is better than wellspring at the very least. So maybe everything else is good. Judging by the reload speed, we already, I know we have uh, extended mag, but let's see. Fuck. Dude, okay, this is a good roll and it has good stability, but I need handling, man, because I'm stuck at 31 handling. The barrels screwed me again. And then this is just going to be ass. Oh, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. Maybe I would have got something. I thought maybe just maybe. <laughs> all right. So all in all, these are all the bottom dollars that were worth keeping. And uh, let's see which one is the best starting off with the rangefinder explosive payload rolls. We have 31 handling and it looks like that'll be the max handling on this roll. A pretty good roll. I'm going to look at the other explosive payload one now that has 38 stability. Uh, but it does have 70 range, but I'm not too, too, too worried about the range because it doesn't matter. But it also does have quick draw, like a quick draw explosive payload roll could be okay. I feel like this might be kind of worth keeping. 
because rangefinder is not going to do anything after next season and a reload masterworks the only thing that's kind of bugging me here it's not completely useless because it's a 120 i mean you could always use a reload masterwork but uh i think i like this more than the other role because i'm not going to use a role that has 30 I, I i might keep both though i can't decide so we'll, we'll, we'll end up keeping both rangefinder ones then we have three slide shot rolls one with slide shot explosive the other slide shot explosive than the last one slide shot wellspring which has the most handling out of the three Checking the first one, it has Flared Magwell or Appended Mag, which could give me 10 bullets without a mod. But I'm okay with 8 bullets. I'm very used to Round Robin at this point. And also, we have Slide Shot. I don't have to worry about the magazine size too much. It has pretty good stability. And it does have a Handling Masterwork that'll take it all the way up to like 40-ish Handling, which could be okay. So this will be a role I'll end up keeping, I think. Hitting 40 Handling is definitely going to be a lot better. And since I don't need to put on Backup Mag, I could slap on Quick Access Sling to make it... Uh, bearable at the very least so that one i think we'll end up keeping the other slide shot explosive payload is going to be sitting at 31 handling yes it has more range but i don't really care about range all that much so i think i'm going to go ahead and dismantle this one i'm going to go ahead and dismantle the slide shot explosive one that has no handling on it because even though 40 and 31 handling doesn't sound like it's a big deal it is actually a big difference so we'll go ahead and get rid of this one we are going to keep the one even though it only has 60 range 60 with slide shot and explosive payload will be fine and the last one that I actually got at the very beginning of uh, my Gambit games, this one has a lot of handling all the way up to, I think, 51. Yeah, so the one that I might not even really use, I just masterworked it. It's sitting at 51 handling. It has ball spring. I'm going to keep it because it does sit at 70 range with accurized rounds, and it could feel okay. I am using arrowhead break instead of corkscrew because I am that much of a slut for handling. I would sacrifice the little bit of stats I can get from Corkscrew instead. If you're thinking about ever playing 50 games of Gambit for a god roll, don't do it, uh, because then you'll be left kind of satisfied, but not really. I'm just missing that little bit, little bit. Like, if this had Explosive Payload instead of Wallspring, I would have been very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I guess I'll be doing another 50 games whenever Double Infamy comes around. Don't ever do this. See you guys.